Hey Rollers, I'm always thoroughly entertained watching white belts in competition. They move at a crazy pace that almost makes me dizzy. They also do unpredictable and sometimes dangerous moves that should result in disqualification. This match features Edgar wearing a blue gi and Ernie wearing black. They were both moving like caffeine-fueled jackrabbits, but Edgar seemed to be the one pushing the pace. It's actually hard to roll with guys like this in training because you quickly realize that you're the one responsible for your collective safety. Edgar forgot that he was wearing his spacers and one fell off. This is one of many of Edgar's accessories that would hit the ground in this match. Ernie took this chance to catch his breath and collect his thoughts. How would you deal with an opponent like Edgar? Would you try to shoot a takedown? Would you try slowing him down with grips? Would you let him bounce around until he's tired? Let me know in the comments. Ernie chose to grip up and pull him close. It's hard to tell what takedowns they may be trying to set up. Nobody seemed to know where this tussle would take them, so the referee got in his stance and got ready to karate chop them back into their area. Wrestlers and judo guys often comment on my videos and roast jujitsu for not promoting skills on the feet. Watching this match so far might be support for their point, but hang on, there's actually a nice takedown coming up. You can see that Ernie was looking to duck under, and when he did, he dropped for a great twisting trip. Admit it, you wrestlers and judo cuz, this is pretty decent for a beginner jiu-jitsu guy. Even on the ground, Edgar was squirrely and hard to contain. He made a couple of attempts to control posture by pulling down on the collar or wrapping up the head. He did a no-no by grabbing inside the sleeve, but the ref didn't notice or maybe he didn't care. Ernie was doing well to keep his arm out of trouble, to keep squared up, and to maintain his posture. His next move, though, should have disqualified him. I'm gonna get the can opener. He wanted to get out of this aggressive guard, so he locked on a can opener. This is a neck crank, illegal at all levels in IBJJF and only allowed for brown and black belts by Grappling Industries. He gave it some good torque, but let go when he thought he could pin a leg to get out of the guard. No such luck. He was lucky though, he just got away with a dangerous and illegal move and he was about to do something much dirtier. He was correcting the strategy to get out of this guard. It looked like a dangerous place to be. Edgar constantly wiggled around looking for an angle, pulling the arm across, or trying to yank down posture. His tenacity paid off when he found a way to trap the arm and shoot a triangle. Now let's look at some dirty defense. You can see Ernie driving his elbow across Edgar's neck and face. It went almost full MMA when he postured and dropped an elbow. This popped the triangle open and began a scramble. Ernie had the advantage of not just being elbowed in the face, so he won the battle and came up on top of half guard. They were reset to the center and had an uneventful minute. Boring. Edgar managed to wiggle free and almost pass the side control, but Ernie maintained control of his head and did a great job of flipping him over and staying on top. He kept enough pressure on the neck that he was able to climb right to mount. He had a great position here, time out with an arm trapped. This provided an excellent chance to slip his right leg under the head and lock up a triangle. Maybe he didn't want to get into a triangle because he was afraid of getting rolled over and face some revenge elbows. For whatever reason, he released the arm and went to a lower mount where he waited out the remainder of the five minute match. He got the points win with a 9-0 lead, even though he should have been disqualified. If not for the can opener, then for sure for dropping elbows. It didn't seem like he was intentionally breaking rules or being dirty. Just a couple of white belts having a spirited scrap. Which is why I find it so entertaining. If you enjoy my content here on YouTube, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm sorry about all that can opener stuff.